the key happenings around、um, the world recently. So this is the poster about Dr. Cheng's talk. It's actually、um, made by the、uh, editorial team that we had. So let let's take a look of some of the、um, video clips I have to introduce Dr. Cheng. The people that receive this short video clips are all the patients of Dr. Chen. They were very grateful of what Dr. Chen have done for them. Chen Peirong, Hualien Ziji Yixue Zhongxin Fu Yuanzhang. So this patient is having problem、uh, eating and speaking. So Dr. Chen is of a、uh, associate doctor in Hualien Hospitals. She has he has been a doctor for more than thirty years, and then has been dedicated his his life taking care of the patients、uh, around Hualien area. So today we have eight、um, key doctors in the hospitals compared to thirty years ago. So you know my responsibility has been enlightened a lot with the increase of the doctor team. There's a patient alumni that they form. So this alumni actually create a very good forum for、um, newer patients to、um, share their experience with the previous patients. How,、uh, especially through the recovery process. Not just you know, being a doctor in Hualien hospitals, Doctor Chen also go to hospital in Yuli every week. So you can see it's nobody in the stations because. He left for the Yuli Hospital early in the morning, and came back late in the night. Because of Doctor Chang's、um, willingness to go to Yuli hospitals, these patients do not need to actually travel to Hualien hospitals. So this helped them a lot. We can tell he's a very passionate and dedicated doctor who are willing to sacrifice his own inconvenience, reaching out directly to the patients to help them. This is a patient that Doctor Chen helping to reconstruct his facial,、um, his entire face、uh, structure. Has a huge cancerous、um, sarcoma on his face. Although this is、um, not malignant. However, it will affect affect his、um, daily lives and also his functions of eating and speaking. This surgery took more than twenty hours to help him remove the the the, the cells as well as、um, helping the restructuring of the facial structure. 
This is another case from Malaysia. Um, the patient traveled from Malaysia back uh, to Huanin. And you can tell, you know, it's very severe. The entire left face, um, due to the heaviness of the additional um, sarcomy and all cells, pretty severe and very hard to live with. So to remove the sarcoma, it's very um, dangerous because you have to make sure that, you know, um, the patients uh, um, will not overly uh, losing the blood through the surgery process. This is a case about a Malaysian um, involving an accident. And they were sent to Hualien Hospital and Dr. Chang actually saved his life. So let's welcome Dr. Cheng. So these are, after seeing all these video clips, I guess all of us are very, um, very much interested to hear more detail from Dr. Chang. So let's welcome Dr. Cheng. We really like to be with him because of his positive energy. Dear all Chizzy volunteers, I'm very grateful I have an opportunity to share today in this uh, online study group. I'll share some of the experience that I went through through the, my 30 years of career in Hualien City Hospitals. I will approach from the educational aspect, research aspect, as well as some of the clinical cases that I, I um, I took care of. Okay, let's take a moment to get the slide up. I'm going to talk about four cases today. Those are very uh, representative uh, cases that I had during the 30 years. To me, um, the humanity aspects in the medical field, it's what um, I would like to highlight today. 
because it actually、um, bring out the value and the spirit that Master Chenyan wants us to practice. So this is a case、uh, for Mr. Ying, fifty-seven years old. He's a farmer, and he has chewing problem for a long time due to his betel nut consumption that affected his health. So after detailed inspection or Um, although his stage is actually at stage four, the cancer stage is at stage four. I feel that there's still an opportunity to to recovery if you perform the surgery. So this is the state of him when he first、um, checked into the hospital. You can tell almost half of his face is un unseeable. So I have to remove、嗯、the entire left side of his face. So after second surgeries, you can tell his face sure structures. It's more visible. At least you know we constructed the first stage of his mouth. Although it's not really a mouth yet, but you know the shape is there. So besides taking care of him through the surgery, we also、um, impart a lot of educational aspects of how to、um, take care of his his health. So this is another case of Dr. Chen. So he's a he's a patient、uh, without a throat. So we have to help、um, construct the throat. So Xu Shenzhen is um is a language therapy therapist who help who came and visit um the second patient of mine and help him how to retrain um his muscle his throat. You may not be able to hear clearly, but he's trying to learn how to pronounce one to ten. It's a it's a kind of entire ter therapist project to it, therapist process to its recovery. So this is the third case.、Um, It's a patient, fifty years old patient with、um, diabetes. You can see from this、um, X-ray that. His tonsillitis is actually swollen, which affect his、um, breathing. 
path is not able to breathe because of the enlarged organ. It's pretty common in Huatong area. Uh, I always have such patients every few months. Around the neck and throat area. I'm grateful like our hospitals not just have all the medical equipment, we also have all the um, nurses and doctor resources support in which we were able to take care of a lot of these patients around this area. This, the fourth patient is actually an international um, patient. So he has very severe um, fibro cancerous cell. It's very large. You can tell the black area here is totally blocking his uh, her mouth. It's also constantly breathing. So that's why the dry blood uh, became black. Uh, it smells really bad and constantly breathing. This is a case reported by city volunteers uh, outside of Taiwan. So this is a photo before surgery. So you can tell her left eye is just totally blocked by this um, abnormal cancer cells. See, this is a photo after the surgery. We basically removed all those cancer cells and then helped and started the process to help reconstruct her face. And this is the picture a year later. Wow, you can tell it's totally different. She's extremely grateful that Dr. Chen and the Pana doctors help her. Imagine what she's going through and how she's now able to lead a normal life. So next, I'm going to share a little bit of my personal experience um, in Tzuzi Hualien Hospitals. So Hualien Hospital is built, started in 1986. During that time, I'm actually an intern uh, doctor. So when I was doing intern, it's my first time um, met masters. That gave me a very long lasting impression. So during then, there's a, a indigenous patients who actually fall down uh, during work and his entire spleen were broken and some of his uh, bones were actually fractured. So master told uh, the doctor panel that um, told the patient that he did not need to worry about money. So the doctor will help you to a recovery. So I was really impressed. That gave me, um, that gave me 
a total different mindset. As a doctor, if you're able to help a patient, you're actually indirectly helping the entire family. So in this case, once the patient discovers a recovery, and he's able to work again to support his family. So what's the goal of a doctor? The first, of course, is to save the life. Secondly, is to improve the quality of the patient life, as well as to improve the functionality of the patients. So at that time, I also realized that, you know, in the medical field, there's also um, commercial and also benefit factors. But because during that time, there's no insurance. But it made me realize that, especially in the remote area like Walin, who did not have a lot of medical um, resources, it's pretty tough for the local patients. So our uh, Hualin Hospital at that time was the first hospital that did not um, ask for medical deposit. Because Master Chin Yen's put the uh, patient's health forefront and did not and put aside, you know, the the medical fee problem. Because I think the, the mission that Doctor uh, Master Chin Yen wants for the doctors and the hospital is to put life up front. We should reach out and save the life as one of the core missions. So from 1993 to 1996, I'm a one-man person during that, uh, like, one man holding the fort. Because at that time, there's not um, then no other doctor. So uh, I'll base on clinical service as my main, core main focus. I gave out uh, opportunity to pursue further studies and research. I did feel a little uh, fatigued at that time, even thought of like leaving the hospital and start my own clinic. But due to the unconditional support from Master Chen Yan, from um, the other doctors and also seniors, I start to retain uh, where's my position, what's my well, and I decided to stay put. This is why I stayed here today. So from 1996 to 2000, our the steady development phase of our uh, department. So gradually, word of mouth spread on, and you know the um the head neck cancerous patients were getting more and we were able to help and tackle a lot of severe cases. So in 1999, uh, my department were upgraded to uh, 
medical center. So we were we were able to support preventive medicine programs such as oral cancer screening. So from 2000 to 2008 is the era of inheritance and deep cultivation. So since 2000s, uh, there are students from Tsida University, it's actually Tsiji uh, University, come uh, and practice that internship. So it is very gratifying to be able to do the duty of preaching, teaching, and solving puzzles, like uh, tough cases. So there were a number of international cases in 2004, including uh, Navandi and Sufeyang, and there were also implementation of uh, artificial electronic ears. So at present, ENT has eight attending physicians, all of whom have specializations. So the era of sustainability management started from 2009 till today. So I'm looking forward to building a, a, an era to promote Tsuji spirit. So from our first um, doctor, Brother, uh, Dr. Du, du Senyan. So the, the medical systems has already established very well across the four main hospitals in Hualien, Dalin, Taipei, and Taichung. So each hospital has a different specialization. Like one may be focusing more on the nose, the other one from the ears, and the other one from like the overall breathing to help sleep cycles. So I also involved in some of the disaster reliefs. So in 2009, during the um, uh, hurricane, the Papa hurricane, uh, August 8th hurricane, I went there to do um, clinical service. In 1999, we formed the first um, head, neck, uh, cancer group uh, medical panel. So in 2002, we formed the cancer center. So our focus is to 
consolidate and combine uh, different specialties into our panel discussion to help um, treat and cure the cancerous patient around you know this diff this few organs so this is the entire um, team organizations in which um, you know the different segments on this pie are different specialties as well as different resources to help with the patients. So we also established a very clear SOP in which it got recognized by the um, uh, medical government medical department. This is our treatment guidance in which we have different, we list out different stages as well as different uh, surgeries of different risk level. And what are the potential treatments we should um, look into for the best uh, recovery results? These are my entire team uh, pictures. This is the patient's alumni. We call it like a uh, word of mouth patient alumni. We have re regular gathering. So the sharing of experience among the patients were actually one of the key factors um, to his recovery from mental and physical perspective. So in 2016, um, I was given the Medical Field Contribution Award from Hualien Panda Doctors uh, Association. I'm very, very grateful of um, my path in this past 30 years, especially guidance from Master Chen Yan, in which um, we should incorporate a city spirit and also humanity value in my medical practice, making sure that, you know, we are just not taking care of patients uh, from the medical perspective, but also taking care of them from the spirit and heart perspective. So this is sim simulated a surgery that we, uh, we conducted to help with the training of the new doctors. We are so very grateful of all those um, doctors who, who dedicated their body after death 
we call them the uh, silent doctor, that anyone who have signed the wish to donate their body to help with the training of the new um, doctor. Now, humanity um, ceremony, we also interact with the patient's uh, family. We also will visit the patient's family. So through the interaction with the families, you know, there's a sharing of the patient conditions and how um, and why we need silent doctor. You know, we really appreciate them uh, sacrifice their own needs to help with the training of the future doctors. So through research, we can always um, come up with new techniques to help with the um, surgery. So this is also another research that we are doing. So I'm very uh, grateful that all the silent doctors um, help us and give us the body to help us in our research process. So this is another research on how we can um, reduce the breathing and the danger to the patient during surgery. And we actually do, did this research on silent doctor, making sure that, you know, we explore the risk, understanding all the potential problem before we actually apply on the real patient. So lastly, I want to share um, a summary of my main value that I acquired through my 30 years of experience. So I think in the clinical practice, we should always uh, bring up the quality and then and also continue to pass on the medical experiences to the new doctors, as well as in my process, you know, we will, we will really take care of the patients and also contribute, contribute to the entire medical field. Also, want to say thank you to Master Chen Ming, who, uh, who, who gave us uh, the main key spiritual guidance along my path. Thank you.
呃，在这边我们的管心律师姐就说，加拿大管心律师姐说，医师易得，仁医难求，良医兴国，慈济医院的大医王兼具医术，医德更富医疗人文，令人赞叹。感恩陈培荣副院长化小爱为大爱，深入浅出精辟的分享。我想我们从大爱新闻里面会一些全。So I hand it over to Brother PJ to take back. 变脸的成功，但是大家应该不知道，这很大的一个重要工程就是我们陈培。Yeah, thank you, Sister Lisa. 大家在画面上有没有去看到？当我们看到一个人这么巨大的肿瘤。Yeah, lots of good feedback to, uh, Chen Fu. 结果呢？一年后拍上那样的照片，副院长，你知道我们这里呢？那是一个比格。我们在想起热烈的掌声哦。继续 on the face and see the full transformations like a normal face. You can see how great the doctor in Zhiji Hospital. 那时候就是一个实习生，就很大的一个震撼。可是这样的一个。Many awards has been given to Chen Fu. He is well deserved on his dedications. And the skill sets of the Chen Fu has been well known in Taiwan, but also to the world right now. We are so honored to invite the Chen Fu to our online study to know what's going on in the mission of medical. And we have so many great doctors in our hospital. And and to relieve the suffering of our people and beings. 的肿瘤长在脸上，是花莲慈院做切除手术。你看他写的非常的巨细靡，所以表示陈副院长您在说什么？我们很多书友都是听的非常的开心哦。实际呃 ，Teacher Main is reading out a lot of good feedback to Chen Fu. Uh, how his dedication really relieved the patients in. In the throat, mouth, and the face, uh, specialist. Yeah.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯.嗯